Hey everybody, it's Robin with Creativity RV and today I'm going to show you how I decorate my RV without doing any damage to the walls and that includes cool things like this and a bunch of other stuff that I'm going to show you. You know, an RV is a very small space and in my first RV that I have for two years, I didn't focus enough on decorating it with things that brought me joy and so this time i've been in my rv for three months i've been on the hunt for things to put in here that will make me happy in this space and i'm going to show you guys some tricks that i've learned to make sure everything is stable when you're going down the road and that you can hang and decorate with just about anything Thanks for stopping by to check out my latest video. Today I'm going to decorate my RV and before you think this is just a video showing you how to use a command strip, it's not. I have figured out a bunch of little hacks for how to make your space your own without having to just use plastic bins and make sure that that stuff stays stable and doesn't move around while you're in motion. So I've been gathering some stuff for my new RV that really is important to me and I think it's important that you kind of identify what things you can bring along with you or find that are gonna make your RV your own. When you do, I hope that this video helps you figure out a way to put them up so that you can travel and not worry about them at all and then when you park, you can go back into the back of your RV or your van and just enjoy your space. You guys know that this stuff is from my last RV. I just brought it over and put it up right away. This is my cow picture. No, I didn't paint it. I got it from Walmart. It's there if anybody likes it. I think it's 15 bucks. One thing that I have learned is you can put a big piece of art on a tiny wall like I did here, and it works out just fine. So I brought over the cow, and I brought over all my magnets. Somebody asked me recently in a view queue how I put these up, and I just do it with command strips. Of course, I had to bring Barry Garfunkel, who looks over us and keeps us safe. And this great metal piece was a piece from my friend Lori, and so that had to come as well. You can have stuff that shows your personality and is fun and brings you joy when you walk in and, you know, gives you whatever vibe you want in your RV, but it still has to be functional. So lots of this stuff that I'm going to show you here, I was shopping for with functionality and space in mind. The first thing is I can't believe I scored and got this ampersand sign. It's actually like stained glass. And I think I'm going to put that up near the garden where the light can shine through it. There are a couple of wall spaces I could put it on also. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that because, you know, there's not really a flat surface back here, but I do have some ways to do that. The next thing that I found, and look, I just went to a little antique store um, in Denver and looked around and really took my time and found stuff that I thought would be functional and cool looking for me and give me the vibe that I wanted. This is actually a sugar mold and I think it was $16 at the antique store. You know, it didn't have to be expensive. I really liked the wood and there are little containers here and you know, I'm trying to make a barrier in front of my garden so the cat can't get up and I also need storage for my paintbrushes. So I'm gonna show you guys with this thing how I do that. I got this at the antique store also. It was not expensive. I just thought the lights in the kitchen would be great on this at night. It would catch some of that light and I needed something cool to hold some of my kitchen instruments. So I'm gonna show you that here in a second. Also, I do not have really a good place in the kitchen to hold my cutlery. I have been keeping my forks and knives in a spice jar, but um, now I'm gonna use this because again, not expensive, but really cool looking. And then this thing, I don't really know where I'm gonna put this, but it's a beaker, like a science beaker. God, you guys, I think this was $4. Then I actually found this set of hooks. And you know, if you wanna get a big broad set of hooks, they come too big for RVs. I have done command hooks before, but I just like the look of this one. But this is not um, light. This is pretty heavy, but I do have a way to put that up. And that way I'll have a place to hang jackets and hoodies and stuff like that that I need to grab. But a score for me was I found these old cards that I think must have been used for 
I don't know, vocabulary test, spelling test, reading test, something like that. These were $2 a piece, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to put them up. And finally, I've been wanting to do this in an RV since I got one. This is a wall mural that just sticks on the wall. Now, I'm a little unsure about this one because I'm usually not like a girly flower wicker basket kind of a girl, and somehow I've gone that direction. But when I got this RV, I was just feeling so happy that I wanted to do something like this. Now, originally, I did get this really cool cow mural, and I'm going to show you that now. I got it on Amazon because I thought my cow picture up front wasn't going to fit, but I returned it because it does. But I was thinking about putting it in the living room where I'm going to put these, but I also thought it would be really cool to put them on the metal part of your slide so when your slide comes out, you see them on the edge like some people do maps when they visit different states. So basically with these things, you know, they peel right off. They're just big stickers. So take this, for example, I just put some paintbrushes in here. If I was going down the road, this is what I would be hearing. I do not want to hear that. For things like this, what I figured out is beans. So I have some old beans here that I haven't used and, you know, they're pretty old and a cheap way to do this. So what I'm going to do is pour the beans in there and it gives all of the paintbrushes or the cutlery a bumper. For this to work, you really have to shove the item down into the beans. You can't just let it rest on the top. If you shove it down, it's going to make it more stable. Now look, these don't really move because they're in there with the beans. I've shoved them down to the very bottom, and you can see they don't really move at all, and you're not going to hear a racket, and they're not going to fall out, and the beans aren't going to spill everywhere when you're going down the road. And now I'm pretty sure the cat will not want to get up there and it looks good, and it makes me want to paint. I also found this sweet thing on Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks. It's felt. These ties you can do in a few different ways. But this thing is massive. It holds all my art supplies, except for the paintbrushes. And, you know, now I can just lift this up out of here when I want to paint something instead of having to dig it out. And it looks great back here. Here you can see that I've filled these up also with beans, and I'm going to put this stuff in there. And then I'm going to put them in this back corner. Now, you might wonder how those are not going to fall over when they're going down the road. You might see here that I've started my fastener here. This is Command Strip Velcro. Now, this is what it looks like. And these two pieces click together. Do you hear that? So what I do, especially, you know, with something like this, that is round. I was really actually looking for a square thing when I started, but I just like the look of this, is I set it back here and I'm putting it right up against the wall because that's more stable. At some point, I'll probably put something right here, but I don't really need to. What I do is I make sure that it's level in the place I want it to be, and I put the Velcro down, and then I put the other side of the Velcro down, and then put this on top of it and hold it down, because then I make sure that I'm putting the Velcro on in a way that it's really stable. Another reason I like doing it this way, and I also did the boxes this way, is that I can actually lift these up off the Velcro if I want to clean back here. If I spill coffee back here or water gets back here, you know, in an RV, if you're uneven, just a little bit, and you get a spill on your kitchen cabinet, it will run right back under this. And so, you know, I didn't want to do something that I couldn't get under there to clean it, so this is a great solution. Remember, I had two Velcro strips already stuck down to the cabinet, and I just put another one on top. Do you hear that click? You want to make sure that they're clicked in like that. Then all I'm going to do is peel off the sticky part and stick that canister down to it. I'm going to make sure that I'm positioning it right, way up in the corner, and then I'm just going to hold it down for 30 seconds. This thing is not going to tip over while I'm driving. It is completely stable. So I'll put my stuff in there, but first I'm going to do the same thing you saw here with the other little canister. I wanted to show you that you can actually do this the opposite way here. This is two little tiny pieces of the Velcro already snapped together, stuck on to the bottom of this canister, and then you can just place it where you want it, and I know because I've already been playing with it. The good thing about Command is if you get it wrong, just pull it back up and redo it until it's done. Here they are, they look great, but, you know, I always test it and I'm not happy with this one because the base is so 
tiny and round. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a regular command strip right here and I'm going to make sure it stays stuck to the wall. This is a regular little command strip that doesn't hold a lot of weight. I've taken the sticky off both sides and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick it back in that crack and then push it for a few seconds to make sure it sticks. You can actually see it just a little bit, but no one is ever going to notice that but me. And more importantly, look, so much better. These are not going to go anywhere when I'm going down the road. And I can get to my cooking stuff, easily wash it, put it back right away. I've also had a few of you ask me where I got my fruit and vegetable storage basket that hangs under my cabinet here. So let me tell you how I did that. All I did was I took those little screws, you know, that screw up into the wood, the little hooks, see? And then I figured out that I didn't want it to go, you know, all four corners because I wouldn't be able to get to the fruit. So I put three in like that. And then I just took some reusable mesh fruit and vegetable bags. And these are in my Amazon store if you guys are looking for these. I think it's $7 for like three of these. And then I just hung one right here. Um, I've also done this before in my bathrooms when I had more space for that. Moving on to this little guy. Now you'll see it actually came with a screw, but I'm not going to put screws into my RV. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use command hook Velcro. And each of these holds, I think, five pounds. So I don't know what I'm going to put on here, but if I put a couple of jackets, I definitely want it to hold. So I'm just going to flip this over and put command strips on the back and then put it up on the door. I'm going to do the same thing on this one that I did on the little canister because I find on smaller items it's just easier to place it this way for me. So again, I go ahead and put one strip down and then I lock the other strip into place first. Then I'm going to peel off this backing and stick it to the door. On something like this, you really do want to hold it down for the full 30 seconds that it recommends. But now it's on that door and I could hang anything from it. Another thing I love about command strips is that you can cut them. These are some general purpose ones, like I just used on that little canister, but I'm going to cut these so that I just have a little tiny square to put those word posters up with. But if you guys have anything massive that you want to put up, they have industrial Velcro. I have a link for this also. You can literally <laughs> put anything up with this stuff. Um, it's actually too big to even put pictures up with. I've got other Velcro for that. But this stuff will do almost anything. I actually have my antenna up for a while with this. Here are the cut up strips. I made them from this. And now I'm going to hang these up and I'm going to show you where I'm going to put them and what it's going to say. Here's what I did with the first batch. And by the way, this command strip stuff will stick for a second to, you know, the kind of weird pleather material that's on a lot of RVs, but it'll fall off. So you really do have to put it on a wall surface or wooden surface. But this is what I did here. I have a to-do list on my shower door. And so under that, I said, want, can, will, did because I want to remind myself that I wanted to do something with my life. I found a way and I did it. I've decided to put this right here, but I am going to tack it right here with just a little bit of command tape because what I don't want is for this thing to go like this while I'm driving. What I want is for it to be tacked right here and then it won't go anywhere. And then I am going to want to make this more sturdy probably I'll put some socks in here, which is one of my go-tos if I can't find, you know, some other little object that'll space it. Because remember, everything is spaced up against this up here. So I've got this. I'm growing my microgreens. By the way, um, these are watercress. They're sprouting. If you haven't seen the garden video, you know, and then I have my wood plank and then I have the rest of my garden. And everything in here is wedged so that when I'm going down the road, it doesn't go anywhere. On this one, I actually had to work with it a little bit to figure out something that worked. It's really light, so I didn't need to put a lot on it. But what I did is I put a command strip underneath this curve, so it's sticking to this you know, yoga mat that I have up here so nothing slides around. And then I put another one right here, but nobody's gonna see that but me. I feel pretty comfortable I can go down the road and that's not gonna go anywhere. Now for the mural. 
The really nice thing about these is they're cheap now. I think this one was $35. It came with five flowers. I'm not going to use all of them because I don't want it to get too busy in here. But you can cut them out and then put them wherever you want. So I've been playing in different places in the RV. But what I think I want to do is put them right here because then when the slide goes in, you're not going to see them. And then when the slide goes out, it's going to reveal some happy flowers. I did want to tell you guys that another thing to look for, especially with an RV, is that around the mural you choose, you want to make sure that it has a transparent backing so it can go on any wall surface. Some of them are surrounded by white. Um, this brand is transparent, and they also have that cute cow, so I'll put that in the link below for you guys if you're looking for one with a transparent edge. This is what it looks like. I'm pretty happy with it. I don't think it's too busy. I only used three of the flowers. But when the slide goes in, this entire wall is actually going to cover these up because my slide goes to right here. I measured it. When the slide opens, it's going to reveal these flowers, which is what I wanted. And these things are so easy to use. They're cheap. You can cut them. You know, all you have to do is stick it up like a sticker and then spread it out. And if you don't like the placement, you can move them for about three minutes before they start to get too gummed up to move anymore. So I actually moved these a few times to get this. When I lived in Seattle, I had a giant cherry blossom tree that I put on my wall and every single leaf had to be put on individually. My mom came out and we did it together and it's one of the happiest moments that I've ever had with her. I mentioned in this video and all of my past videos have now been compiled into one link which you can find in the description of this video and also pinned at the top of comments that goes to my Amazon store. Anything that I've mentioned that I purchased at Amazon is there. If I purchase something at like Walmart or an antique store like I did today, I tell you guys that. Otherwise, you can find everything there. And by the way, if you just want to support this channel, you can always go through that link to do your Amazon shopping, and then this channel makes a very small commission on your purchase, and it doesn't cost you anything else. I hope you guys can use the information in this video. If you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up because it helps other people discover the video. If you have friends that can use the info, please do share the video. As I mentioned before, my full video on organization and also the complete walkthrough tour is coming in the next week and a half or so. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Then hit that little bell and you'll get a notification when new videos come out. Until then, I wish you all happy travels and be free.